What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're changing up, doing some work on the Mazda Speed. Changing out some ax the axle here. This axle on the passenger front is done. So, I'm gonna have to change that out. So we're gonna work on that. Um, hopefully we don't get no rust of the bolts or nothing. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, did some suspension work not too, a couple years ago, so bolt shouldn't be too hard to get out but anyway that's what we're doing today so stay tuned all right so let's look at what we're gonna have to work out here the axle nut of course gonna take that out i believe i gotta unbolt the spindle from the upper control on there so that's we're gonna do that to loosen that up and uh, hopefully we ain't gotta do nothing with these down here because I don't really feel, feel like there's no low control arms. I don't think so. Uh, axles in there. I have to get that just pull the axle out of the transmission. Hopefully that doesn't give a problem. Uh, we might have to do the wishbone probably to get the clearance to get this out. So, um, so we'll see. We'll just go with it, with it as long as the process takes. Uh, like hopefully it don't take all day. You know, sometimes you think something's gonna be quick, and it's not. So um, let's get started. So, I had to take off the caliper, put that to the side. It gives us some extra room, you know, to get things moving. Like I said, I'm gonna have to probably unbolt the wishbone next, and then go under the car and try to smack it out from the transfer case. I just wanna make sure I got all the room I need to get everything out. But like I said, the hardest part actually, the two hardest parts is getting it out of here, which is smooth and then getting it out of the transfer case all right so the axle is out sorry i didn't get a lot because uh i'm taking out the axle itself from the t case because this gave me a problem this thing kind of broke in half so that was the issue with the uh <laughs> with the axle so basically separated from each other there goes a joint part there so I couldn't get a lot of the footage because I was hammering it out so the phone wasn't cooperating at the time so yeah but it's out now now we can put in the, uh, the newer gently used axle that I got but yeah yes yeah, so it's a couple of days later um I had to wait for my boy to find the axle for me in his uh, storage he had because I almost forgot I had this and then I remembered I might have an axle and boom I had this standing by so I didn't have to buy another one which is good and it's OEM so um, how long it lasts I don't know but it's in pretty good condition so everything's working so we're gonna put this in button everything back up and then the car will be back on the road man Definitely, definitely for that side, so it don't get stuck in the hub. Yep.
caliper little paint got all scratched up. Might as well redo even my mother sign, man. I kind of like that. Got messed up too. Been dragging the floor a little bit, but it's all right. We're done. Everything's buttoned up. Yep. So yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for checking the video out. Um, I'm gonna do a test drive on it. See how it is. Let you guys know the outcome. Should be good. Like I said, it's an OEM axle, so who knows how long it's gonna last. I can't remember when when it was that how many miles I had on it, but yeah, should be alright.